Welcome to the Drexel University Libraries Health Sciences Libraries CINAHL video tutorial. We're currently in the CINAHL database and we're about to begin our search. What you'll want to do is click in the first search box here and enter one portion of your topic at a time. Why don't we start with preterm infants? I'll key that in and if you'll notice, there's a little check box above where we're typing this information that says suggest subject terms. What will happen is when we hit the search button, CINAHL is going to recommend predetermined subject headings to us, and this really makes our lives easier. What will occur in the background of CINAHL is a subject indexer will look through all of the various articles coming into the database and assign these particular subject headings to various articles. And why that's helpful is an author might use many various terms to describe a particular population, event, disease, or disorder. These standardized terms make things much simpler because hopefully we can just choose maybe one or two of these terms to put together instead of all the various synonyms that might be possible. So what I'll do is just hit the search button at this point and lead by example. When I hit search, it brings forth some suggestions. And actually, it's recommending for preterm infant, use premature infant. To go on to the next step, you want to click on this link directly. That's going to bring you into a tree view. This is the page where we can see if there's other things that we may be interested in, and we can check to make sure that we're including topics that happen to be more specific than the one we've selected here. I'm just going to scroll down the page a little bit, looking for where premature infant is mentioned. Here it is. I'm looking to see if there's anything that's more specific than it. I don't see anything underneath it, so we're fine. I'm just going to mark this. By checking it off, that allows me to go to the next step. However, I'm noticing one thing that might be of interest. In fact, yes, these low birth weight infants might be something else to look at as well. We'll get to that in the next chapter of this database search. For now, let's move on to our next step. Over here at the right-hand portion of the page, it identifies that we selected premature infants and to really run the search at this point, you just want to hit your search database button. That's going to bring you back to the main search page and show you your initial results. Right now we have about 7,700 results. It's a pretty large number, but large numbers at this point are fine. It just means that this particular topic is well researched, and that's a good thing. We're actually going to be cutting down the number of results that we see here as we go through our example itself. This concludes this chapter. Thank you.